Hi guys, it's Carrie. Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back if you've been here before. So today, guys, we're in Target. And we're looking at some jewelry, purses, that kind of stuff. So we're going to have some fun, guys. I know we did this similarly before. Guys, I don't feel so great. Today, guys, I've been out getting stuff from my dad. Okay, anyway, further ado, let's get in the video. Bye, guys. So, guys, I know I show these clips a lot because they're so adorable. I still haven't bought them for my dolls, and Ruby's hair still needs to get fixed. My custom American Girl doll, if you guys enjoy my channel. Oh, it depends on if I'm posting this under the carry-in or if I'm posting this under Borgson. Um, under Borgson, I've never, I don't think I've ever mentioned my American Girl dolls, which is weird considering I have a whole bunch of them. Damn, like they're people. Guys, I would like these for American Girl dolls. But let's face it, like I'd buy any jewelry from a doll. Um, American Girl earrings need to be a bigger post than humans or they're going to fall right out. I didn't maybe just assemble the make these AG earrings. The problem with earrings is, guys, I love them. So I'm probably going to take them. Like, I've been meaning to get Ruby a pair of earrings. And also, who else needs them? Well, Tool, um, Tulip doesn't have, well, Tulip's our, um, our generation. So many dolls need desert ears. Earrings in their ears? Because these. Um. Guys, I gotta introduce you guys if we're when we're some books into my dolls. I've so many guys. It's not that I don't love dolls. Stuff is going on in my personal life. And I love these earrings, guys. Oh, I have a lot, if you guys are wondering. They're not in the best condition, and I'm still looking for my necklace. I lost my necklace again. That neighbor we used to call Aunt Sissy gave me. It broke into three pieces. But I have the Barbie and the necklace she gave me. Because it's Barbie. Everyone's got Barbie fever. Actually, guys, I've been thinking about her lately. Like this. Um, here's my mom's friend. Guys, fun fact, I'm visually impaired. So I have trouble reading cursive. Aries, I'm a Pisces. Um, Pisces. I go by this Leo tech. I'm Pisces. Um... Ooh, look, it's Scorpio. It's got a little M on it. I get made fun of. Oh, that's a Scorpio sign. I used to get made fun of when I wear my M necklace. I do have one because my confirmation name is Mary. Um, M, middle names. M names. My family guys, I should guys say. Pause. Guys, look. It's, guys, I love all this new stuff. That's buds, guys. It's true. And this isn't a closing video, but look. Brown and Snoopy, best friends for life. Guys, I want my Snoopy and, and Charlie Brown because they're best friends, guys. And you know what's adorable about them? Nobody bullies anyone. Excuse me, vlogging for you too. Guys, I'm sorry if anyone ever gets into my, my videos. So, guys, over on Borkson, I need to love. My channel is getting some views for, like, my doll content, but I'm not getting any subscribers. Now, it took me a long time over on Carrie and even get any subscribers. And there's an issue why with that, why I had to create works and I don't know, I'm trying to my type, guys, this is my type. But I have a backpack, oh my god. I'll show you guys my new backpack, which I bought from my tablet. My dad was like, you should buy another one then if it's that cheap. i use the other one, move one for a purse. Guys, I'm going to show you all what I don't like. These kind that show clear because people can see what's in there and attempt to rob you. I don't know. Guys, I'm from Pennsylvania. If you guys are new to my channel or channels, I'm from Pennsylvania. Okay, so uh, I have a Pennsylvanian like thoughts. Like I think you'll get robbed for your pocketbook. You'll get robbed for your phone. Guys, now my dad actually, when I went to Metro, got a nice phone. My father was convinced I was gonna get robbed for it. My cousin even said, "Well, he heard his name, Uncle. He heard his name might be right. You really had to be careful." So I didn't even think of that. Hey, look at somebody's cute bag. She says it's sin. The 90-year-old man has to worry about his daughter getting robbed for her phone. That's a sin. Because I did drop my phone once, guys. I had I want to do a video about this. The, an older man, sweet man, guys, called my dad up and said, did your wife lose her phone? My dad has been dead for years. My mother's been dead for years. So my dad thought it was a crank call and hung up, and the man called back. And I was, like, hysterically crying. And my dad was like, what is it? What is it? I was like, 
I dropped my phone and was crying. My dad, that was a legitimate call. Well, my dad went with me to pick the phone up, and my dad offered the guy 10 bucks. He said, thank you, sir, just for your kindness. He said, no. Then we found out this phone to a legal, almost legally blind woman. He said, no, I'm not going to take money to give a legally blind woman her phone. I even said, sir, please just take it. I said, most, most, you know, take the 10 bucks, whatever. Treat yourself. I said, you did something good for a disabled person. And he was like, no, no, no. God bless him, guys. I never found kindness that sweet ever again. You know, most people were like, who hair stuff too, guys. Most people who don't realize I'm disabled, they just like to take advantage because I love it. I mean, that's that's a true gentleman. Somebody who found my phone, he even texted my cousin and said, um, oh, guys, earrings are my favorite thing. I want these. I'm going to buy them. Even told my cousins, do you guys know the owner of the phone? So my cousins, um, they thought I had fallen and gotten hurt. So they were like flipping out. They called my Aunt Patty and was like, I think, I think Brooks and Fell, which is not my real name. I think Brooks and Fell broke her phone. Because somebody's saying they had their phone. Like, did she break it? Which is typical me. My friends all know that if a phone will get broken, it'll be broken by Brooks. They drop it, shattering it. <laughs> Too much. Spencer McPherson and drooling and breaking the phone. Talk about it tonight. Guys, I love these earrings. These aren't playing my bodies because my ears are, are pierced for the record. I just never wear earrings. Last I'm staying around the house cleaning. And I gotta get home because I gotta. Guys, I bought my dad a present. I bought my dad a, lo- um, a glue wrecker. I'm proud of him, guys, because he let me buy it for him. Lately, he's saying, no, 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 I don't want no gifts. I'm too old. I'm like, Dad, you're 90. And I said to him, look, I said, Dad, if you don't let someone cut that grass, he never wants to upset my uncle. I love these hearings. He doesn't like to upset my uncle or my brother. And I'm like, you know what, Dad? I'm going to call your brother up and let him know that you don't have a weed whacker and you want to cut it yourself. Because he never wants to upset his brother. He's always going to upset my brother, upset my brother. I'm like, Dad, if... If your brother finds out who's 92 years old must dread her cutting this grass herself, he's going to get upset. Because he already told my dad, I don't want you cutting the grass anymore, brother. He said, look, brother, you're too old. He said, I have no offense. He said, you're, you're elderly. I don't want you back. You're cutting the grass. He said, never get a phone call. You're cutting grass. So my uncle is in a 55 plus. So we're thinking about joining him. Yeah, guys, we're thinking about joining him. Problem is, my uncle isn't one that doesn't allow your caretaker to live with you, but my uncle's caretaker is his daughter. She just doesn't live with him. Guys, I'm so thankful he has somebody to take care of him. When I, I said I said to uh, my dad, I wish you had your version of Patty, Dad, and her cousin. So my uncle he said, I do. to you. I said, I have, I have a daughter for life. My dad always says, you have a son, you have a son, so he picks his wife. You got a daughter, you got a daughter for life. They gave me a daughter for life. My brother just doesn't live by us. So. Guys, we're actually thinking it's time to move out by my brother. We're really thinking it. Because your hands are so cute, but one's missing. Um, I'm sure my brother could use help with the kids, him and his wife. I got a lot of little ones. My ears are pierced four in each year. So guys, we were considering moving by them. More or less as a pro quo, like they could get a babysitter and we could get out of Pennsylvania. Because my uncle even said he wants me out of here. He said, he told me flat, he said, honey, if I outlive daddy, he said, I, he said, I want to send for you to come live with Patty. He said, I don't want you in Philadelphia or Pennsylvania or in your area by yourself. Because I told my uncle, guy tried to grab me. He said, you better put your father on the me right now. He said, brother, you're going to move out of that neighborhood. He said, if my son law has got to come help you. Because um, my cousin's husband is 6'4", so a big, tall man. He said, he got on the phone and said, uncle, and so his name. He said, I'm going to help you. He said, I want to get you guys out because you guys are family. So I hear about you guys all the time from your brother. He said, I feel like I know you. He said, I want my uncle. And low my cousin in law out of that house, out of that neighborhood. And I just I want you to say out because I really love these necklaces. I know I do a little talk about family stuff though. Because I'm from, a, if I don't say this, I know I didn't say this on Bordixen yet, but I said this on Carrie Ann. I'm, I'm from a really large family. I'm from, from a really big multicultural family. So um, I've been meaning to do a video about what it's like as an Italian woman in a multicultural family. Guys, that's why I don't go by my legal last name. Guys, I love these, by the way. I don't go by my legal last name because my last name shows my nationality. 
my mother would say, don't be ashamed of it. I'm proud to be married to an Italian man. Because my mother used to always say, I'm, pr- I'm proud to be married to an Italian man. Oh my God, Ma, but you know, the one getting called her names for Italian slurs, I used to say called. And I'm like, yeah. Hi, look at this. This is what I need. These are one of these kits. My earrings break because I buy them really cheap and secondhand sometimes. And because, guys, the reason why I do, I don't buy good jewelry mainly because when I did, I'm vision impaired if I never said that before on this channel. Um, I'm, I know I said it, I said it a million times in Carrie Ann, but I never said it on Borixen. I like these gold kind of cute. I'm vision impaired. So I drop things because I can't see them. I'm sorry guys, I'm just trying to hide the same thing over and over again. Um, so I dropped, my dad saved up for months, for around Black Friday one year, I was 20, to get me a nice pair of earrings, and I dropped one and broke it. I broke one and dropped one and never found it. We think my nephew found it. We think my nephew found it. I just have to get someone to move my bread box. Because I showed my nephew the replacement pair and my father saved up for months and months and months to get me. And I said to him, if you see this, I said, you need to alert Grandpa right away. Because I love this. I love this set. Look at this. I said, if you see that earring, it looks like this. <laughs> what am I... Where I keep my makeup, where I keep my little better quality jewelry. And I said, if you find this, you need to let Grandpa know. Oh, guys, looks so cute. You need to let Grandpa know immediately if you find this. He's like, I will. I he said, oh, why didn't carry this? It's my favorite earring. My, one of my favorite pairs of earrings. Guys, it was my good quality one. I didn't want to make a feel funny. Guys, these are big. Uh, my grandma used to have, have earrings like this. My granny. I have earrings similar to those guys that are big and like all for older ladies. But cool, I like Oh, guys, before I forget, I should put this in the video so I remind myself. I need to fix my grandmom's earring. Because the piece that goes through the ear, it popped off. Guys, look at this. Look at what my grandma would wear. Um, actually, it's like something new to the prom. I got my grandma's earrings when she passed away. Well, not when, yeah, when, when she passed away, um, my dad actually got them. And my dad said, what am I going to do with these? When she told me, my grandma told my dad that she was going to give him all of her costume jewelry. And he's like, oh, man, what am I going to do with it? She said, you have a granddaughter and a daughter. Give them to one of the girls. Give them to the girl of your choice. My mom didn't wear jewelry. Okay, guys, I think we're done with the jewelry over here. Here's the story, and then we're going to finish up. Anyway, my grandmom told my dad, give them to the woman of your choice. Give the jewelry one day to a woman of your choice. Maybe to my granddaughter has yet been born. Which was odd because I was born about six years after she passed away. So my dad said my mother wanted me to give it to the girl of my choice. The girl of my choice is my favorite daughter. My dad don't hide I'm his favorite daughter. I'm his favorite daughter, he says it. Guys, I like this with a lighter pink color. Cuteness. Yellow. Yeah, I mean, my dad says I'm his favorite daughter. I better be I'm the only one that's left alive. But guys, when you, were, when you were originally one of six kids, a lot, I like those too. Like I always say, my parents were co-raising two of my cousins that passed away before we were born. My father had children before and then us, so there were six of us all together. I, it, there was, there was two forms of six, so. Anyways, I've babbled on enough, but okay guys, intro and outro. Bye guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Now, guys, the issue I'm starting to have is I have two channels now. So, this is for my main channel. Do so you guys like that kind of like this kind of content? I basically do the same thing over on Borkson. I do the same content. It's just reverse with videos I do and stuff. So, if you guys like this kind of content, remember to comment, like, share, subscribe. Go over and hit that bell. To put every time I upload, it should be smashable. Um... You guys want go over and give me a like over on Borkson because as of time I'm vlogging this, I have zero subscribers on that channel, and I got a lot of views, <laughs> and I'm not keeping no followers. Okay, guys, bye.